first thing that I like to do is I like to, I always read the graph from left to right. So I'm reading this function from left to right, OK? Now, you could write down what the parent function is. Hopefully you guys see it's square root of x, right? But the first thing, I always read from left to right. So I see there's a negative on the outside. That means I'm multiplying by a negative, right? Well, I see a negative. Guys, 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 not the time right now. We'll get back to that, OK? So I'm multiplying a negative. On, I see I'm multiplying a negative. So I need to confirm. That means I'm multiplying a negative on the outside, right? So automatically, first transformation, because remember I said there's three answers. So the first thing, a, is reflect x-axis, because I'm multiplying the outside. Next thing is I see a number. That means, yes? It is a vertical stretch, because that number is negative 3 that I'm multiplying to the outside of the function, right? So therefore, since the absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3, 3 is greater than 1, it's a vertical stretch. So next transformation I write down, vertical stretch. It doesn't, ma it doesn't matter how, which one you say first. I'm just saying you're multiplying by negative first. That's why I labeled that first. But it, you can write them in any order. It doesn't matter. Um, now you can see to get to this next transformation, I have to go under the radical, meaning I'm now going inside the function. Does everybody say that? So if I'm going inside the function and I'm adding a number, that means it's a horizontal shift. And it's a horizontal shift to the left. So I'm going left four units. OK, part B to graph. You're going to need to know these parent functions. You guys, have, you guys have all those worksheets. Make sure you know the parent functions. Calculator will be used on some portions of your test. It's not going to be available for all portions of your test. You need to know what this graph looks like. This graph, the radical graph, is all the way over there, looks something like that. Right? It doesn't need to be perfect. I said to sketch the graph, not doesn't need to be perfect. So let's just apply the all the operations. I have a negative reflecting the x-axis. So I reflect the x-axis, correct? I shift the graph left four units. So instead of it crossing at 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then it's vertically stretched. So maybe I'll vertically stretch it a little bit. And again, I don't, I'm not going like, to mark you down saying your vertical stretch was not enough. I just want to be able to see that you uh, can at least uh, label them and can do the reflections and the translations. The vertical stretch and the compression we'll use graphing technology more for. Yes? No, you do not. That's what, I, that's what I said. You do not need to calculate how much. You just need to know that there's a vertical stretch. OK? And yes, estimate a little bit of a vertical stretch. But I'm, again, I'm not going to mark you down if you don't do a vertical stretch correctly. 